hello guys welcome once again in the last video we have seen how to configure and set up your first JSF web application and we have uh, made our new first web application and we uh, ran the program and it was successful in this video I will uh, go further and I will show you how to navigate uh, to the other pages from one page to other page with the help of your JSF application. So what you need to do is you have this when you open your web application you have this web page and inside this web page you have this index.xhtml which is the main HTML XHTML file now it also has uh, this web.inf which contains web.xml so what you need to do is go here and right click and go to new and click JSF pages okay and if you do not find the JSF pages here you will be able to find in the Java server faces here and go to JSF pages click next give the name to the JSF page I will name it as second page so second and then I will click finish and if you can see here the other page second.html comes here so in here in the title if you know a little bit of X, uh, HTML this is the title so you can change this title also so second page and you can change uh, this message also in the second page so you can show welcome to the second page it's just an example so that's why i'm writing simple text now go to your index dot xhtml and we want to call this second page from this first page by clicking a button so for example this is our home page home and in here I will write click button to go to second page okay and next here this is the body and in here in JSF everything start every tag starts with dot H so I will show you here right inside this body itself right one more tag H call we are going to take a button so take this H dot command button and then we will give a value to it so value is um, the name which will appear on the button so I will name it as open second page for example and then you can give the action here so this action defines some action which this button click will perform so we want to go to the next page which is our second page so just go here 
and copy the name of this uh, second page so just the name of this page is second so right here second okay and just close this with the closing button command okay and one good thing in java or netbeans ide that it completes your code automatically so you, if you have started this command button it will ask for the completion so you need to add this completion code here so this uh, command button code look like this okay so what this will do is i will run the program and then see what it does so run the program and in here you can see it's showing click button to go to second page and when i click open second page this button nothing happens let's see why okay so let's go to the index.xhtml and i think here i must have declared the h colon form yes because it's a form and inside the form we need to call our pages so like this and now when you run the program it's running yeah and now when you click this open second page it opens the second page see here and it can go back and goes to the second page so now it's working so the mistake what which i have done was i haven't added this so just add this and make sure this name is same as your xhtml file name here so one thing if you can notice here that you are on first page no notice this url it changes to index.html but this page is our second.xhtml not index.xhtml so for defining or for changing this url according to the navigation we need to change the rules in the navigation so come back here so once again we will go to our project this web page and go here click this web.inf file and right click it once again we will add new and we will go to others and once again we will go to the java server faces and this time we will choose this jsf face configuration okay and click next and you can give the name to this configuration file i will leave this name as default because it's our first application so and i will click this finish and if you notice here in configuration file it creates this faces.config.html and this is our file it looks like this and inside this uh, faces.config file i will define the new navigation rule for going from for one page to other page so right here faces
sorry we will write first navigation rule so navigation rule and once again navigation rule close and inside this navigation rule we will uh, define from view id so this first of all we will close this and inside this uh, from view id tag we will write our main xhtml file so this is index.xhtml so index.xhtml and so this is from which form you want to go and next we will define to which form we are going so to which form we want to go so here define navigation case enter and just close it and inside this navigation case we will define two and close this to id so this is from and where we are going we are going to the second form so write slash second dot x html okay there is one more thing you can define here just above this two view id right from outcome and first of all close it and in here we will write uh, the tag or the value so right here for example open and whatever you write here i notice that this slash is not required here so we are going from here here we require the slash and here we don't require this slash so uh, in this from outcome tag we have passed this open value so just copy this open and once again go to your index dot x html and in here we have defined this command button action and instead of this action we will paste the open value from this face phase slash configuration files faces dash configuration file so this value is this open just copy this value go to index and in the action just paste it as it is okay so after doing that just come back to the faces dash config dot x html file which we have created so this code we have written there is one more thing here we need to add is the redirect tag so right here redirect and give it slash here so what this tag will do is it will redirect your file from index.xhtml when it sees this action value to the second dot x html so let's see if our code works or not so run program and it opens this web page and notice here it should give the url to second dot x html right so click this and this time this is correct second dot x html so this also depend upon you what do you want you want to change the url or you don't want to change the url so this is for redirecting your url 
so just create con faces dot config dot xml file and in here inside this face config file just pass this so it's going from index to second xhtml file when it sees this value and just pass the same value in the action here okay so in this way you can use this web page for navigating from one page to another page so i think that's it for this video in the next video i will show you some more code about jsf so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now